914 here on your Monday. Thank you for staying with us. If you're looking ahead to the weekend already, wanting to make some plans, <laughs> consider grooving in Greensboro, the 12th annual Groove Jam. Supporting the Greensboro Urban Ministry is this Saturday. Sounds like a great time. And joining us now to share more is the event organizer, Rich Lerner. Thanks for being with us, Rich. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, yes, of course. So obviously groove in the title of this event. You want people to get their groove on. Tell us how this event got started and really your mission behind it. OK, sure. Well, back in 2012, I, I had a dream to start a local music festival with uh, Greensboro musicians in a Greensboro location to benefit a Greensboro organization. And I know that uh, Urban Ministry does so much to help the neediest people in our community that I thought that's who we would want to support. And with the help of my friends and uh, other local musicians that I've known for many years, we got this thing going and it's grown to be what I hoped it would be uh, when we started it out. So what can people look forward to during this year's event? It's the 12th one you were saying. Yeah, so yeah. How, how has it grown over the years and, and what's special about this one? Well, the event has a lot of heart. It's a food drive and fundraiser. And I'm very proud of the music that we put on every year. We have a variety of styles and performers. The music starts at two in the afternoon and goes until 11 at night. That's a long time. That's a whole day of fun and grooving. How do you choose the artists? You said you're proud of the music that you have there for the lineup. Well, it began with just uh, other local musicians that I know that I reached out to and asked if they would help. And um, over the years, other performers have heard about it and reached out to me. And uh, we're fortunate in this area to have a lot of talented musicians, artists, and bands. And obviously this is all for a great cause. So you mentioned that the Greensboro Urban Ministry really serves people who are in need. Um, can you talk about why you chose, you know, their organization to support and then what exactly do they do? Well, Urban Ministry does a variety of uh, services to help the neediest in the community. Um, including the food pantry. Um, there's, uh, there's just hundreds of families that benefit uh, consistently when uh, they're in need through the services of Urban Ministry. Well, definitely sounds like a worthy organization that you are supporting through this event on Saturday. Is there anything else that people should know ahead of this event? Maybe things to bring, admission, certain hours, you know, should they be there for all of those hours of the day? Yeah, well, we encourage people to come and stay as long as they like. We'll have um, vendors and food trucks on site. Um, we encourage people to bring either a blanket or some lawn chairs. And uh, we have a beautiful venue at Doodad Farm that's been the gracious host for this event ever since we started it. And we also know we have that suggested donation of $15, right, Rich? That is correct. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that. It is a suggested minimum donation of $15. Uh, some people give more. And we have a big emphasis on the food drive. We hope everybody that attends uh, will bring non-perishable food items to contribute for the food bank. Wonderful. Glad you mentioned that as well. Rich, thank you for your time this morning. And for everyone at home, the 12th Groove Jam is Saturday from 2 until 11. Head on out to the Doodad Farm there on Land Road. Farm. Sorry about that. Yep. Doodad Farm. That is on Land Road in Greensboro. The info is on your screen now. And to learn more, you can visit GrooveJamGreensboro.com.